Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new first look of the Porsche's Taycan Turbo full electric sedan. Now it looks definitely stunning and amazing, a revolution from Porsche that's even shaken up the Tesla's grounds. Now on the front we see beautiful four LED lights. We see the air intake below them, just on the sides. And then we have 360 parking camera, night vision, and radar on the front. Beautiful LED matrix lights from Porsche. With actual air flowing through the sides for better aerodynamics. And then we have this beautiful black finished alloy wheels with 21 inch alloy wheels, brick black Porsche calipers with perforated discs. We have here charging ports. From this side is DC, on the other side is the AC. Beautiful mirrors with 360 parking camera system. Integrated door handles that pop out. And then beautiful skirt. And then we have this sleek black and on the back with a little bit of retro diffuser and this lines, but beautiful sleek car. A nice finish and spoiler that goes up that is integrated into the body. Beautiful wide hips, aerodynamic design, Taycan Turbo. Now if you want to pop the trunk, there's a little button over here. I'm gonna come to that later just to check the more aerodynamic features and put the car into the perspective. Okay guys, time to get in. You see Porsche logo on the bottom. Beautiful interior, all premium leather, and this bronze door opening. And our memory seats lock and lock the car. Window controls and mirror controls. A nice carpeting compartment area for the bottle Burmeister speakers really top finish then we have the Taycan turbo and carbon fiber doorstep and then just a quick look of the interior we have electric seats with a lot of options this is how they look we have black peripherated leather they sculpt it to hold you in. And then we have a nice Porsche sign over there. Uh, this can probably extend, as you can see. You press here or retract it in. Now let's sit inside. Okay, 16 inch curved screen. And then we have, if I'm not mistaken, 10 inch, two screens, second was optional. So it is mirroring to the driver what you wanna see. Now, these are touch operations for the lights. As you can see, you can have fog lights. You have a little sound and taptic feedback. Then over here, you have controls for the suspension, ESP off. You can lower the suspension or change the stiffness. And then we have our data here. It's a really crispy screen. Now, depending on the steering wheel height, you can see through. It's all, 
all, always, um, <laughs> excuse me, it is electric, uh, up and down. And then we have here uh, Porsche GT steering wheel with the screws, uh, uh, basic functions. And then we have a drive mode select. You can see here normal, normal range, sport, sport plus, and individual, depending on the rotor changing. Then we have the virtual assistant. Over here we have the automatic uh, right, uh, you know, reverse neutral drive park. And then we have our uh, levers here for the lights and the blinkers. Our cruise control is on the bottom. And just beautiful Alcantara steering wheel. This is all in German. We have here AC vents, Burmeister speakers on the top. Then on the top as well another speaker in the a-pillar beautiful alcantara rooftops a personal mirror and a light a thin basil on the top uh, led lights passenger airbag information and emergency call we have a little ambient uh, led light that projects uh excuse me for the shake on this bottom so here we can see our um electric status of the elect i mean of the battery our um, charging information and now we have here AC charging and DC and AC charging on, on our right. So you can open here uh, the exterior uh, openings to charge. Then we have here AC. Uh, it's all touch controls with haptic feedback. You can have ventilated seats here or heated. You can hear the fans. You can open both trunks, trunk. And then you can open the rear as well and then you can turn off here you can control the volume you can control the parking cameras and parking sensors and then you can uh, turn on the heat uh, maximum blow and other stuff so this doesn't move it's fixed uh, depending where you choose the air blows you have your hazards uh, over here and then you have beautiful crispy graphics as you can see back in camera we have uh, 360 view you can uh, either choose different ones and then you have this uh, virtual Porsche that changes around so you can see your surroundings uh, this is the AC blow so you can uh, direct it where you want it to blow this is something like in the model 3 now as you can see you can change the air blow so if I can change it towards me and later I mean to the other side um, you can play with this. Um, this is only German. Um, there's other options here as well. A lot of options. If I get a chance to do an in-depth review, I'm going to do one in Croatia. But here we have other information about the car. Uh, you have lane assist, uh, uh, autonomous support, uh, cruise control, uh, your side warnings and other stuff, your trip information. Uh, about the battery comfort uh, you have ambient light here as well and you can play with lots of this stuff when you buy the car uh, over here this is the home menu so you have you can switch uh, both screens so you can just uh, switch them as you can see they switch and then you have here uh, in the battery status if I come back you have here AC uh, uh, back we have here navigation uh, it's beautiful nice we're in Frankfurt Auto Show and then again here uh, Wi-Fi updates and radio I'm gonna mute that volume and then um, there's a lots of other options here as well uh, and then we have the virtual assistant uh, but not to kill <laughs> your time with this we have a beautiful chrono package on the top as well uh, there is a glove compartment uh, that isn't uh, that big but it is a long as you can see of course on the side as well uh, we have memory seats uh, nice speakers the seats are nice uh, they really hold you in so this is 2.2 meters uh, excuse me 6.6 .6, two meters tall uh, plenty of space now if I back up a little bit comfortable position this is your driving view you can see uh, the creases on the hood uh, 
good side view blind spot might be the problem a little bit but that's why you have blind spot warning and not to miss there is a storage area here you probably can't see it but my hand can go through uh, on the bottom we have also carbon fiber we have um, two big cup holders and titan in, in the middle all of this is of course uh, leather uh, high quality and then um, if I would figure out where to open the uh, armrest up so here press to open uh, you have a little LED light you have a phone or yeah phone holder uh, 12 volt charger and two USB C's uh, pretty minimalistic but again beautiful this can extend like this and this is the back look now let's check the back of the car I've been sitting long enough in the front of course sport paddles and here is the on and off so a little hard to get out oh the back is closed okay guys just another white model to show you the back space carbon fiber trim depends on the trim uh, this is just the regular Taycan now actually this is also the Turbo S a little different colors in the interior as you can see on the front uh, this is more black gray finish and as you can see the night vision camera on that front screen now I'm gonna attempt to sit in the back now the seat appears to be all the way back but still if I fit I can fit my uh, knees of course I have a little more space if the seat was uh, up front more now on the back we have AC controls here as you can see uh, probably four zone you even have the heated seats have the climate menu so you can direct the air where you want it because this little guys are fixed so you can direct them down and then you can turn it on or off also you can choose the direction where you want them to below and then strong medium or soft and then you have a little compartment here as well uh, you have ambient lighting on the bottom so let me just show you that so this is how it looks actually on this side you can see it better and if I come to the bottom you can see really nice details now the back seat is comfy Alcantara as well so this model is a bit different than the red one and then combination of a leather Alcantara and wood uh, cloth seats so this is an interesting combo now we have a armrest over here as well with integrated two cup holders and then we have in this model a panoramic roof which is an optional and then um, well it's different when you have the panoramic roof on the top for your head uh, but I guess this isn't too bad considering I'm two meters tall or 6.6 .6. for an average person this would be more than enough space on the back seat and just a quick look of this model's interior and the controls in the virtual cockpit okay guys this is the trunk space as you can hear see there's five fingers of height uh, aluminium uh, step here uh, there's a little compartment on the bottom not too much space uh, you can knock down the seats 40 60 you have a little hook over here two LED lights as you can see on the top and then you have a little net here deep storage area down there and down here and then you have a 12 volt outlet now it's not too big it's 440 liters combined with the frunk if I press it to close closes nicely 
and then you have this, this is the spoiler that comes up. This is the white turbo model with the interesting black and white rims. This is the front space or the frunk called in electric cars. Uh, not too much storage space. Now to show you if this model is working. So. Oh, it's on the bottom, thank you. So you have here uh, uh, alternate current and then the direct current. On the other side, it's just the alternate current. And then if you go again, it closes. So I think white color is maybe nicer than the red, but that's just the taste. This blue color, you can see most of the shapes because it's the most uh, pearl effect and shiny cars. So you can see all uh, the design details, uh, especially interesting uh, closed wheels, probably the best looking in my personal opinion. And uh, this is the front of a white model, just to show you here. Now you can see carbon fiber details on the front and you can see actual air intake. This is for air cooling. So this model doesn't have the uh, radar or the night vision camera, I assume, because that looks like a night vision camera on the red car, but it has air intake to cool the batteries as well. Put the white car in the frame, elegant and sleek. More information about the new Porsche Taycan is gonna be in the video description. There's just too many stuff to remember. Uh, have in mind, I have to film 40 new cars. Uh, so it's just easier to put the information and not tell you the wrong information. And you know, uh, this way, the only thing I need to tell you, it's, it's really close up to the Tesla Model S, um, comparing it to the top uh, P100D, ludicrous mode, so it is half a second slower. The range is a little bit slower, but this is a more premium car. The interior is um, much more advanced options than a uh, really rather simplified Tesla Model S. And uh, Tesla has been, you know, uh, decreasing in sales, and this is going to affect maybe their top ranging models S and X because. Porsche is changing the game. They're hopping on to the electric vehicle game. So we're interested in what the future is gonna look like, especially in the auto industry competition of the electric vehicle segment. Guys, if you wanna see more on the Frankfurt Auto Show, there's more cars. There is other car brands like Mercedes, BMW, the new Volkswagen ID. If you wanna see that, you know what to do. Just subscribe to the channel, click that bell to get notification when I upload a new video. As always, Leave your comment below, I'd like to hear your opinions. Give this video a like if you liked it and I'm going to see you in the next video. Stay safe on the road. Till the next one, bye.